Hey guys, welcome back to more Remnant. So I, the map said to go back to this region. So I'm back here and I'm just going to explore the areas that are still shadowed out. Um, I ran into some posts saying that there's actually hidden archetypes. Um, and I have seen them online, like when I was playing adventure mode. I think there's an engineer and there's a summoner. So that's going to be interesting to find. So for now, I'm using the crossbow just to test it out. Um, it kind of feels like the bow. Not a lot of difference between it. But I mean, I'm not too surprised because crossbow and bow is basically the same thing. The only difference is I don't have to hold down the charge button, so it's always uh, at full strength, so that is nice. And I think the damage potential is probably higher for the crossbow. Because this is plus 10, and it's already doing damage that's pretty much on par with my um, bow, which is like plus 20, I think now. The headshot damage does seem a little bit lower. Look, I'm only hitting 730 with the headshot. But I think if I'm using... Ooh. If I'm using my bow, it should be a thousand. Let's just quickly test that. Uh, oh. oh, no dodge. Nice. Managed to actually dodge that. Uh, Slayer. Okay. Yeah, okay, my bow is actually higher damage, but I'm shooting at a slower pace. So, I want to say my crossbow is actually better than a bow. But I need to upgrade it a little bit more. Because right now I'm still doing more dam- uh, I mean, I'm doing more damage with the bow. Compared to the crossbow, but the crossbow is a strong contender. Because this bow is plus 18 and the crossbow is plus 9. So it's double the upgrade, so it makes sense that it's stronger. But by the time they're at the same level, I should see some pretty significant gains. Oh, that's the crow. Oh, finally. The gate with an exclamation mark, which is where I'm supposed to go. There's supposed to be a map with a blood moon or something like that. And then you can find like the little wisp thingies, which lets you get the blood moon harvest, which I found earlier. Um, stairs. Wait, have I been here before? Yes, I have. Huh, I guess I'm supposed to go there. Hmm. Oh, well, that's cool. Areas that I've gone through before is level 7 because I've unlocked it before uh, before I significantly powered up oh this is a a door oh so it basically it made me go back in a circle now I unlock a checkpoint 
Oh, it's here. I see. This is the place that I passed on. Because there's that music puzzle or cylindrical puzzle that I didn't know how to solve and there were no hints. Nice, simulacrum. I really should get to using these. Uh, these are the items that you need to like upgrade your health potion, your relic charges, but I just haven't been using them, which is why I'm still at three. I even know where to upgrade them. It's in like Ward 13. You just have to talk to Wallace and you can give him a bunch of uh, scrap and he'll be like, yeah, you can upgrade your charges, plus one for you. Um, but I just don't do it because uh, no reason, I guess. Okay, so I activated this thing, which did something, but the question is, what did it do? This is a drop to hell. Okay, I'm pretty sure this opens up a path over there. And now I have this thing moving. So I just have to get this thing moving too. But there must be a hint. Like, oh, what are these? Mm, yeah, no, that doesn't important. tell me anything. I have no idea how this works. Man, this sucks. And there's no way I'm guessing how to solve this. Because it doesn't make sense for it to. Oh! Okay. This is a sound puzzle. I have to follow the guy who's humming. So the first thing I need to do is listen and see which notes are the same. Okay, I see. So they all sound exactly the same. I think this third note's right, but I don't know about these two. Okay, let's go with this. No, that's completely wrong. Hmm. This looks important. Okay, so it pulls on this side first.
Okay, I have no idea. Like, I thought I was following the flute sound over there, but it doesn't feel like it now. Mm. Yeah, when I read the reviews, it did say, like, there's this kind of, like, progress-stopping puzzle. And this is exactly, I think, what they were talking about. Like, I know I have to head over there in order to, like, pass this area. But I have no idea how to solve the puzzle. Because there aren't a lot of hints that are given. Like. I can't really think of anything. That would help me solve the puzzle. Other than like looking it up online. I'm pretty sure the hint's in here, but I just don't know how to read it. Like, it's on the left, you can see, like, all these lines and stuff. Yeah, I don't I have no idea. I'm just gonna look this up. Um, okay, so there is solution online. I'm assuming this is a story mission, so there's definitely gonna be a solution. I just can't be bothered to figure it out for myself. I just still have no idea how to read that, but apparently the answer is in that book. Um, so I'm just gonna look it up, which I did. And it's apparently it's here, you just go up. And then you go up here. And then you drop this one down. This one goes up here. This one goes up here. This one goes up here. And I think I'm off. This goes up. This is supposed to be down. This one's supposed to be up. And then up. Up. And then this one's... Okay. This is the puzzle. At least I get the part where it was actually listening to that flute, but I just had no idea how to get the part because it were just missing, missing like essentially the portion of the flute itself. Like it's not the entire song missing. It seemed like it started in the middle. So to find the notes to play the middle part, super difficult. Um, I think just looking it up is much easier. It's been 
long since I've seen one of your kind. But then, what is time to a god? Ah, but you could know. Godhood is mutable. It can be oh, tell me, okay, this is a bit slow. Clever Impudence is its own oh, no, guess. Your are close. Wow, genius, good guess. The river's path is fluid. fluid obstacles make it stronger. I'm a wiser. Walk with me, club. Walk I will explain. I will explain. The last of your kind left me for dead. That is when they found me and offered me there. Blind was I until they opened my eye to the lies of permanence. Oh, the feeble empress craves her fruit, tries to guzzle immortality. But all things die, Cobb, even gods. Theirs is a mastery of death. The all that is nothing. And so I offer the choice they offered, come. Return to the ash from which we all came. Or break the yoke of balance and become eternal. But the bridge between ego and soul not be crossed without paying at all. Mm, here bleeds the lie. Here mules the old order. Kill it. Kill the doll, and we shall seal our pact. Wait, do I actually have a choice? So I can kill this doll or I can kill this guy? What? Kill the doll and master every part of your transient life. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what I want to do. I don't want to kill the doll. It looks kind of cute. Wait, is it gonna run now because I took too long? Nope. Oh man, this is a hard choice. What happens if I talk Join to him? Me. Kill the doll and master every part of your transient life to the greater glory of both. This guy seems evil. I wanna be evil. Let's do it. Die! Wait, that's, that's it? Increases all damage dealt to bleeding targets by 20%. Bonus increases the 30% for targets with 5th 30%. Yeah. Okay. Go forth, Cobb. What happens if I attack him now? Okay, nothing. Okay, next time I I know I should uh, probably kill the not the doe. But um that was kind of uh not very satisfying. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting by killing the doe. I was basically turning evil, but I was hoping for like some kind of special reward or something. But oh, bunch of chests. Don't mind if I do. I'll help myself to this. Nothing great though. Just kind of random stuff. 
Okay. Well, that's uh, Yaisha done. Um, I guess now I have to head back to Clementine and... Yeah. Um, that was kind of um, anticlimactic. I was expecting a epic boss fight. But it wasn't very epic because I chose to kill the doe. But I mean, I guess it beats getting stuck in this area. Because that was going to be the reality. Like, if I couldn't beat the Ravager by myself, I'd probably be stuck in Yaisha for a while. Um, so I guess not too bad of a decision to kill the doe. You could always re row it or revisit this and then in adventure mode and then just cr try and get the. Wait. Do I have to fight this cube again? No, right? I'm just walking through this to get to the eyeball, right? Yeah, okay. But yeah, uh... I wonder what the Yaisha fight is. Probably have to revisit it in uh, adventure mode just to retry the fight. Because... I didn't want to get held up on the campaign, so I chose to kill the doe. I kind of expected it to be like this, though. Wait, is something different? Why are there so many squiggly lines? Oh, that's right. I have to go to the left. Two trite points. Blood bond. I don't have summoning at Oh, so it's kind of useless. Recoveries, interesting. Ammo reserves might not actually be really useful. I find myself really low on ammo. So maybe having a little bit more ammo is going to be helpful. 10% is good. Better than nothing. There's all these weird flowers.
Okay, so now I'm in the Forgotten Prison. This does not seem like a fun place. Clementine! Ward? Shit! Where are you guys? Oh, this is all insane! With the Crystal and Ford! Get moving if I'm gonna find Clementine. You already know where Clementine is. Oh, I guess this is where the storytelling of roguelikes falls short. Because you can't tell where everyone is gonna be at all the time, so you just end up with. What? What happened? Is it? Wait, why would I want to lock this? I don't understand. Anyways, the one of the weak points of roguelikes with like storytelling is that because you can't determine the path that everyone's going to take, the story is always going to be told in a different way. Like this area is probably one of the starting zones with futuristic kind of weapons or something. Because Otherwise, like, it wouldn't be like when I walk right in here, it'll be saying, like, Clementine Ford, where are you guys? Because I already know where Clementine is. She's with those weird... Uh, she's with the weird eyeball. But it sounds like this is a starting area, so you might not have found the eyeball yet. And so, yeah. What is this? Tell me. And yet you commune with me now. No, 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 do not. You and I share this much in common then. <laughs> no. To speak on the surface of this world, these chambers, find them and bring them to me. You must find me. In the flesh, bring me the souls indeed. Okay, so I have to find something. And then this is an elevator again. Man, lots of elevators in this map. Are there any paths? Nope. But yeah, uh, so... This is also one of the reasons why I don't really care too much about roguelike storytelling is because it's never going to be super great because you can't control the narrative because it's random. Hmm. How do I know them if I find them? Yeah. Oh no, this map is very difficult to navigate. I've played it in adventures before and it's very hard to navigate. Well, it's like a wasteland. And like some of these areas are completely like you can't go through it I think. You get poisoned, yeah. Ooh, I want those bullets. Yeah, you get toxin and you start vomiting. Yep. Same place as the one that I was at before. It's so easy to get lost here. I hate this map. Man, my campaign is probably like the worst. Yaisha, which is annoying, as I mentioned. And then now this map, which is like toxins and very difficult to navigate. Like, why can't you give me a very straightforward map? I like straightforward maps. Uh, 
Oh man, this map is so... Man, I just started this map and I'm already hating it. But I don't want to reroll my campaign to get a different role, because I want to start progressing and like fight the final boss and unlock like new stuff. If it's anything like the the first game, when you, after you beat the game, you unlock like a better loot mode, and then more weapons, crazier weapons too. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Whoa, Spectral Ghost. What? Oh, damn it. I saw something blue or purple up there, so I want to go there. But man, this map is so annoying. Everything's hidden in sand. Everything's like... What the heck is that? Is that a robot? Robot animal that spurts blood? That's weird. Knowledge. Nice. Ah, oh, can I get some quest indicators? At least it's pretty. This is like Jupiter? I don't know. Oh, damn. Is it over? I'm looking at something that looks kind of like Saturn. So is this Jupiter? Because it's all toxin and stuff. I think I've seen the weapon that drops from this map's boss, because I've seen the uh, electric stuff before, like the shocky stuff. I've seen like a laser gun that has like shocky effects after you shoot someone, so this is probably the map. So despite it being like absolutely horrible to navigate, it does drop some pretty amazingly neat stuff. Uh, high risk, high reward, I guess. I'm dreading every moment of it. I do not like this map at all. I think this is just going to be like me complaining about the map a lot and a lot. What the heck is that? Perfect. Oh, it gets slowed. And there's a status debuff. Oh. This is the worst. This is like. This is like uh, Dark Souls, like Plate Blight Town, Plague Town. I don't know. Absolute worst map. Oh, what is this? Are these like aliens, zombies? I can't even tell. It's all sludgy. That's disgusting. Oh, they're all goofy. That's over. Alright, let's do this. Uh, yuck. 
Oh, goopy. Goopy monsters. We all blur about purple stuff. Purple goo. Picks you slow and debuffs you. It's like the absolute worst combo. Absolutely horrible now. What is this? Oh, you can step on it, but it doesn't do anything? It doesn't look like there's anything. Oh. Wow. Did it just come in here for absolutely nothing? There's like nothing here. Maybe like a, a chest? Oh no, there's a map. There's a map there. You know, this map really reminds me of like the Remnant 1 high tech map with like all the floaty orbs and stuff. This is probably the version of that. What happened here? Void Vessel Facility. That sounds important. It sounds like something that I would need. Okay. I think I noticed a little bit of frame rate drop here. That shouldn't happen though, because I am using a 4090, which should be more than enough to handle everything, so... It seems like there are indeed some kind of optimization issues. Something here is causing frame rates to drop. Hey, these guys don't goop as much. Whoa. That's it? Mm, what does this do? Does this open this one? Oh, it does. Can I walk in it? Whoa. Nope. It just made an extra mob. It didn't do anything else. Can I blow this up? Nope. Okay. I guess I have to find a way upstairs. Which I just did. Nice. How do I open this? Okay, I need some kind of key. Okay, it's still really like Tremor. Tremor is so good. This is the thing that was flying and shooting floaty stuff at me. Uh, I see something, a chest over there, so I can probably jump over. Yep. Oh, figure if that was in the case. I'm gonna jump the way back. Okay, I see two dudes going over here. They're probably all running up this ramp. Yep. So I can just trim her. Oh, no. Okay, good stuff. Okay, 
I just realized that the bows have a like a perfect shot time. Which does bonus damage. Which makes bows like even better than crossbows. Because there's like a potential for higher damage if you manage to like hit the perfect timing every single time. Which isn't all that difficult. You just have to shoot it when you're like when the trigger hits the crosshair. Okay, this map is really confusing as well. Okay, did I come here before? I don't think so. Nope, definitely didn't. Nice, feels good to hit those perfect timing hits. Oh, opens up. Airy glyph. That looks kind of like that door. So I might have gotten the mark to open that door. I might have to backtrack later. Oops. This looking good. <laughs> oh, miss there as well. Oof. Or something big, a new amulet, kinetic am uh, shield, exchange it. Whoa, that's a big thing. Um, can that shockwave hit it? I don't think so. Where did it go? What kind of shenanigans is it doing? It's phasing through the wall. That's cheating. Wait, it can't shoot me, but I can shoot him. That's not cheating at all. Good. I just hope the loot doesn't get locked behind that. Oh, I'm out of stamina, that's why. Good. Yep, that was completely fair. I could shoot it, but it couldn't shoot me. Glad that's over. Okay, is there any chance that it's gonna route me back there, or should I go back to the door? Hmm, I don't want to worry about it or forget about it, so I'm gonna go back to the door, unlock that door first, and then head back here. I mean, a door that's locked behind a quest item, it's gotta be important, right? Like, maybe a ring? Oh yeah, speaking of ring, I have to check what this was. Shield active, gain 20% mod damage. That could be extremely good. Yeah, that could be extremely good once I get better mods. Because right now my mods are kind of crappy. I have a feeling this one should open to that glyph. Come on. Let me use this. What? Oh. 
There's actually nothing in there. Well, then in that case, I don't mind if I can't open it. Because there's nothing good in there. Oh, I think I saw some mob inside this door. Why are you in here? It's so weird. Well, I wasted three shots because oh, I couldn't even cool. get what was in there. Okay, back to the room. This looks kind of like a dystopian future or something, where everyone's living in capsules and on a dream. Oh no, it's a kind of like the Matrix. Like, Matrix minus the bullet time and everyone's still in capsules? There's nothing in here. Okay. Did I pick up a new ring? Why is it? Exclamation marks. Oh, did not. Oh, I just didn't highlight it. Okay, good. There's. Oh yeah. Can I use my other skills yet? Yeah. Nope. Ooh, nice. More noise. Oh, it's just dying noises. Man, I wish the dying noises were quicker. Um, More screaming noises. Are there more enemies? I don't see anything else. Oh. Oof. That's cheap, but I think I have to head up there, so I don't mind too much. Okay, so I've gone... Oh, 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 this, this is where this is. Okay. 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 Chest. Nothing good. Is this a trap? This looks like a trap. Is this where I use the... Can you like not have this slam door every single time? Oh, it is. Nice. Okay. Now, what's up here? I think I don't have to come back after I go down there, so I'm going to go over here and take a look. It doesn't feel like there's anything important here. Um, well, I'm guessing this is probably like some guy in a capsule, but there's always a chance that there's something good in there. So. What the heck is that? I didn't have nightmare fuel in my bingo books. Jeez, I was totally not expecting something like that. This is that monster from like Dark Souls or Bloodborne. That weird, ugly, multi-armed thing. Get stuck? Yes, get stuck. Oh man, this thing is ugly. Oh. Oh. That's, that's it. Oh. Okay, since there was that huge thing that could have easily killed me, 
I'm gonna guess there's something important here and it wasn't just the trap card. Come on. Yes, there is something here. Oh, this is that other one. Yes. Always worth taking risks. As I say that, I try it again. Yes! Always worth taking risks. Okay, now let's see what this ring does. When spending 75% or more of current magazine, gain a shield for 10% of max health. What? This is so good. Yes, I'm gonna get... Oh no, that's not that ring. Where's the tiny round wing? Ring. There we go. So now wherever I shoot an arrow shot, I'm going to have 10% shield. Yes. Oh, this is so good. Oh, holy hell. No, another door slam. Which one's this? This isn't. Oh, this one doesn't even open. Okay. Whoa, there's so many up here. Okay. There's probably no more good stuff up here because I already opened all of it, but... Whew. What? I can jump in? Oh no, is this gonna kill me? Hope not. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Fetid corpse. Oh god. Wait, I can actually stun him? Oh, then I didn't have to actually dodge that card. To die from that or well kidnap from that uh, what did I just get mutator that's right uh, is it here yes it is transparent really hate hits generate 5% of max ammo capacity to reserves for both firearms cool down 10 per seconds Wow this is even better than this holy crap this is totally worth it And I'm assuming that the javelin throw is counted as a 
Melee strike. Wait. Wait a minute. This looks familiar. Oh, it's right here. Oh, and all the other doors were open. Oh. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Pretty interesting. Interesting stuff. Okay, time to head back to where I was supposed to be anyways. Um, and then I'll circle back to the door because I finally found the lift that actually opens that door. Okay, oh, there's robots. Okay, time to test. Oh, it does count as a melee strike. That's so good. My build is, like, near invincible now. I can heal. Can restore ammo. This build is so good. I saw a purple thing up here. Or is it up there? Oh, it's up there. Uh, this looks like something that I have to fight. Oh! What? No way! You know? What the heck is this? Oh, it's a trap! Oof. Well, actually, this doesn't really feel that strong. I think I can actually kind of power through it. Like, if I just kind of keep on attacking and regenerating myself, I can probably power through this. Yeah, I can totally do it. Bring it on! I'm not afraid of you. Yeah. Okay, I really do like this build. This build's good. I didn't even really have to dodge. Ooh. Okay. Oh, purple. Let's see what... What the... Ring of Crisis. That doesn't sound like something I would use, but let's check it out. Ring of Crisis yeah. is below 25%, gain 25% max health shield. Well, that actually sounds pretty good. Does that happen every single time? If it does, that would be really good. Okay. Oh, so I got another melee root mutator. Let's see what that one is. Melee strikes... Increase the damage of the next backdash evade attack. Backdash evade attack? What? Is that a thing? What? Like, tutorials are meant to teach you, like, techniques. <laughs> I can't believe I played this game for, like, close to 20 hours and I only just found out that that's a thing. But the problem is, like, is it even worth using? Like, is it good? Wait, did I just clear out the entire map? Wait, those two bosses with mutators, is that- that's it? Oh, someone joined. I didn't even know when that person joined me. Oh, they left. Okay, I cleared out the entire map, and it seems like... Yeah, two bosses for a map, though. That's pretty sick. Well, actually, they kind of felt like mini bosses or joke bosses. Still, overall, I think I had a really great haul. Those mutators are really game changers. Um, but more specifically, the bullet, the max ammo regen one is definitely a game changer. One of my biggest issues is that my bow keeps on using all my ammo, and then I have to go and hunt for ammo. But, with the regenerator, I don't have to do that anymore, so it's going to be amazing. And now that I also have like 24-7 shield, 
that's also really great for survivability. Like, I don't have to worry about getting nicked by small hits as much anymore. I still have to, but not as much. What is this? Oh, it's an armor set. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. Is it good, though? No, it kind of sucks. I mean, what was I expecting? It's a space worker suit. Wait, I can probably wear a little bit heavier armor now. Nope. Missing two. Yeah, I don't really want to get hit by that weight. 1750. Oh, nice. I can do that. Okay. Now I'm a little bit tankier and a little bit cooler. Cool subjective. I think I. Yep, cleared it out. That's 100% cleared. Cool stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to end it here for now, and then as I figure out like what the next part is. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.